contingent upon each other, it's, de it's, it's dependent. But something has to be independent outside of that set of things. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. So when we then ask that, that question, like, who created God, then we'd go on forever and we never come into the present. Yeah. You understand? You, see, it, and it, it, the best thing really is to just live yeah. with who you are. Yeah, fine. Just yeah, you can. Live with that as you go. It's yeah, but what, what, what yeah. we've, what, as in our brief conversation, what I've shown, to, what I've tried to seek to show to you is it's like a process of elimination. Like yeah. Sherlock, if you've ever read Sherlock Holmes' books, he said that whatever's left over must yeah. be the truth. Yeah. So the only logical plausibility, something has created it. Let's, let's leave God to the side for a moment, but what we can say is like, some supernatural something. power, some yeah. all, all supernatural power. So in the Islamic concept, this will be an almighty being who is beyond the universe. And the Quran gives a definition of that. By, Allah says that, say he is Allah the one, the self-sufficient, the eternally besought of all. I mean, everybody needs him. He begetteth not, neither is he begotten, and there is nothing like unto him. So there's nothing comprehensible in the universe like unto our Creator. Which makes sense because if the universe came into existence from a metaphysical state, if the universe came into existence from a metaphysical state which is incomprehensible, something which has to be therefore incomprehensible from within the universe, it cannot be like the universe. And that's where we go into the realms of is referred to the philosophy of science. Science cannot answer this question. What was there before the Big Bang? What metaphysical state was there? Are you following what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So it then, it then necessitates that something beyond the universe. So what we say, that's the Almighty. Uh, almighty God. Because the, what are the other possibilities? Then you examine the other possibilities. So if you don't yeah, believe in God, yeah, it's interesting because what, what you one then deciphers at the end of the day is the following. There's more of a probability of there being a creator than there not being a creator. Because you cannot defini definitively prove a creator, however, you by can't that. Prove anything, yeah, but, but what I'm saying to you, by those other possibilities, definitively, they're incomprehensible. Yeah. So, did the universe, for example, decide, oh, I'm going to create myself? And I gave you the analogy, it's like a mother saying, right, I'm going to give birth to myself. Yeah. She has to be brought through, 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 through her mother. So, this is just something for you to consider. And this is what we invite, that one day we're going to pop our clogs, meaning we're going to die. Yeah. Okay? And we're going to be no more. You weren't here 20 years ago, and you're unlikely to be here another 100 years, say, for example. Well, you know, God give you long life. But the issue is that something reflective, that the wise person just reflects. Now, if you're listening to me, I don't know if it's resonating with you or how you're feeling when I'm speaking to you, but we've got an Arabic understanding, not that I'm an Arab, but we've got an Arabic understanding that God has intrinsically, in each and every human being, put an inner disposition of an understanding of who that Creator is. So the fact you're even listening now attentively, it's like something's resonating within you. Not that I'm saying I'm some sort of holy man who's <laughs> got some holy spirit coming yeah. upon you, uh, that the oddities of some other yeah. uh, religious people. But something is happening now. Something. You're, still listening. you're still listening. Exactly. You could say, all right, thanks for listening. On. You may, you're maybe being polite, but at the same stage, I hope it makes, it's making sense. So look at all the other possibilities. Yeah, so why no, am I encouraging you? Yeah. So what I'm encouraging you to reflect is that if there is a creator, doesn't it make sense he's not created us for no purpose? It makes no sense whatsoever that he's created us purposelessly. So, right, okay, I've simply created you and I'll judge you in a few thousand years. Yeah. Does that make sense? No. That doesn't make sense, does it? So the only really viable option would be that it makes sense that if he's created us, what does he want from us? What does he want from us? So when we appreciate that creator, and for example, you've got two nice eyes. If I was to offer you 50 million quid for both eyes, and you go blind for the rest of your days, would you accept that 50 million pound? No. No chance. No, no chance at all. So that's priceless, is it? And you'd be given yeah. that for free. Yeah. The mouth that you eat in, or the nose that you breathe through, you know? All these components that you've been given for free. The air that we breathe, free of charge. Did you know the air contains 78% nitrogen? If we had a quarter percent less, we would not be able to survive mm. and breathe. Such is the perfection of the design, yeah. how we're allowed to, you know. So these are things for people who reflect so what we therefore say is that we have to give our lives to our Creator in the sense of how? Acknowledge Him first of all. So we pray five times a day. I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware of, how, of, of that. But Muslims, we pray five times. So we yeah. pray that to, to God. In Islam, we don't have any imagery of God. So God is not like His creation. He's not a man. He's not a woman. He's not an idol. He's not, so we don't that's have... That's always hard to believe in, isn't it? Yeah, like of course. Christianity shows God is... It's just basically a human. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's how could that be? Fantastic. You're, you're, you're right on. So in, in effect, this is what we summarily reject. 
So what we say about Jesus is that on that little caption we've got there, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them, worshipping Allah. Worshipping Allah. Okay? So yeah. so worshipping Allah. Bro, just put take. So worshipping Allah. So Allah is the Arabic word for God. Yeah. So Muhammad, peace be upon him, is, is just a messenger, just a prophet, just a man yeah. who came with a message to bring their communities back to worshipping God alone. So you summarize that as a young man very well, like they make Jesus as God. Well, no, more amazingly, the man does not make the claim of being God in the Bible no. either. Did you no. know that? Perversely, through history, Christian history, they've made him God, yet he doesn't say that. In John 17, 3, in the Bible, he says, for example, that there's only one God and I'm his messenger. The thing also thing is, like, in the Bible, yeah. like, people write the Bible, humans write the Bible, don't yeah. they? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to be change in how they perceive it. And through time, it gets changed and changed and changed. Precisely. So That's it's, it's hard to think what the original was like, do you know what I mean? I mean, even, I mean, it's biblical scholars are, are of that particular understanding. The Bible has been changed upside down, wrong way around, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you, you name it. It's, it's, and it's, it's most of it is still stories which have different meanings depending on who reads it. Yeah, depending on who precisely, it's a good point. So, however, like I said, the Islamic narrative is much more concise. It's more compatible with the points we've discussed. Mm. A singular being who's unlike his creation. So, like we've discussed, is nothing like his creation. And that makes sense to the points that we've discussed. See what I mean? Yeah. So, then, like, we, we worship that God, who's, we are one day going to die, and we are going to return to that creator. And we have to make some sort of understanding that, as I said earlier, it, you know, it makes sense that he, wants to he, want, he would want us to lead a life according to his will. When I say he, it's just like a figure of speech. He's, he's, yeah. not, he's not literally a. He's not a yeah. Precisely. Yeah, you're well tuned in. Well done. It's very good. So, in which case, um, this is something reflective for us. And why do we pray to acknowledge that he's given us, it, given us everything and to understand one day we will be no more and that we will be accountable in the hereafter, where we believe in like an eternal bliss or eternal damnation. Because if you reject God out of. Well, just say, for I reason with you. Okay, and you know what I'm saying is makes sense. If you think to yourself, you know what? What is there? What is there a response to what this guy is saying? But you, you still reject it out of not necessarily conceit, but you reject it out of a certain amount of stubbornness. You know, there's a slight difference between conceit yeah. and stubbornness. So that makes you, by proxy, you know, like for example, if I was to give you fifty thousand pounds, if you're in trouble. Are you going to thank me or are you going to thank the third person? You will thank me, won't you, yeah. for helping you. Yeah. So similarly, God has given us eyes and everything that we have for free. We should be grateful for that, you see. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So by this understanding, we should be a reflective and the problem of evil, as you mentioned earlier, you know, this is not the land of milk and honey, like we say. We're going to be tested. There's going to be calamities, difficulties, things that just don't make sense. The thing is, is that um, if you're not being the best person that you be anyway, Yes. And let's say I don't necessarily pray five times a day, but I'm being the best I can be. Yeah. Would I not be accepted? So or, yeah, I mean, so those excellent points that you have, will, you know, will give you an absolute credence to have some sort of, you know, like communion with God and understand God. Listen, I did my best, but again, the acknowledgement of why you're here, what you possess, what you have, that should be an acknowledgement to the ultimate Creator. So in the Islamic concept, a rejection of that would be the would be the highest sin you can make. Even if you do everything else which you would be deemed as good, it's re rejecting that that which has given you everything, which is the epitome yeah. of rejection. You see. So see, that's what makes it hard for me because yeah. I don't really see how if I've done everything I can, but I don't believe in something because nothing's given me this kind of reason to believe it. Yes. Which I know is quite a human thing, that we yeah. need a reason. We need a reason. We don't really need a reason. No. But still, if we've tried our best, yes. why would this thing, yes. whatever he is, or yes. whatever creator is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would, why would it make that anyway? Yeah, yeah, precisely, it's like I said to you. Because it seems quite human like that this thing needs exception from somebody to allow them to enter this whatever's next. Do you yeah. know what I mean? No, I understand your point. However, you need to consider this point deeply mm. by doing everything that you suggested on the positive, but at the same time, rejecting that which has given to you is the epitome of mm. rejection. Just say, for example, your mother. Okay? Mothers can be difficult at times. 
but they can also be extremely loving. And the sentiment that a child has towards his mother is usually a very, very strong bond. Let's say she goes older, right? And she, you know, just loses maybe some of her faculties. And then you just put her in an old people's home and just see her once a year. What type of affection is that? No, that is yeah. the, for me, that would be the epitome of ingratitude, of having the no heart. The thing is also that my mum's raised me. I know who she is. Do you know what I mean? Fine. God, but at the same time, no, not fine. They but are. but the God, your, but your thing is, your mum didn't give you your eyes. No. Your mum didn't give you your nose, or the mum, no. your mum didn't give you the air that you breathe. No, yeah. You're what you call a part of God's creation, as is your mother. So hence, yeah. again, the ultimate should be our creator. Understand, and that is not to the degree of your mother. Certainly, your mother can be one who, in, in, in the Islamic con concept, the parents have a huge honor of respect, mm -hmm. even if the parents may not be of a specific standard which you accept, which you, which you may you know, wish to have. So, these are all fundamental points to observe, and therefore, like I said, the ultimate rejection would be of your creator who's given you all those things you see, who's given you everything. Yeah, it's really interesting to kind of think about, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I couldn't come up with a decision right now. No, no, it's fine. Believe, no, no, I no. That's a, but have I given you some. Thing you have to think about in your whole no, life. No, absolutely. Now, but have I given you some course to yeah, think yeah. about some of the points in terms of yeah. why it's. Especially the, about, like, um, not. Just think about all the options and, like, yeah. what are the other options? Well, exactly. <laughs> that's a good point. I, I, I appreciate yours. Nowhere since, seems to be, like, yes. nowhere seems to be a logical option. So you have to kind of think. I like how your phrase of the show at Coasting. No, I appreciate that. it. That's very really kind. how improbable <laughs> whatever's left yes, is the, that's is the Exactly. That's, you've, you've coined Sherlock's phrase better than I have, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, perfect, that's perfectly well said. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I hope I've given you something to reflect on. If you want to, perhaps later on this evening, uh, when you're able to, the brother here's got a YouTube channel called um, uh, Dawa to Soul. You, you can reflect on our, our conversation has been recorded. If you're happy with being on YouTube, you know, you'll be like, you'll have a little bit of fame, 30 minute fame <laughs> or whatever. And um, you can come on YouTube and just w review our discussion and perhaps consider. We're, we're here regularly, particularly on Wednesdays, at roughly about this time. If you ever want to pop by, have a discussion. We've got literature on the table, which you can take free of charge. A copy of the Quran in English and further literature, which may be somewhat advantageous for you. Would you like to take some stuff or? <laughs> to be honest, I, I need to think about it more no, before I do so, that. No, absolutely. That's not I don't want to take it off you. <laughs> no, but what I would say is if you do take a copy of the Quran, you can use it as reference initially. And if you find it invigorating or compelling reading, then all by all means do so. And you, you don't have to do it immediately, but at least it's just a night. Lots of people have got Qurans and they're not Muslims. Lots yeah. and lots of people. I speak to many people. Would you like a Quran? Oh, I've already got one. Oh, you would like a Quran? Oh, I've already got one. Put it in your library. Interesting to have. Yeah. Okay. Great speaking to you. What's your name? Jesse. Mine's Mustafa. Did I to meet Jesse? Nice to okay. meet you. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's nice. Okay, no problem. Great speaking to you. Thank you. A nice conversation with a young friend, Jesse, over here, who um, we were able to speak to whilst his friends are speaking to other brothers. And Alhamdulillah, may Allah guide him and make him reflect upon those points. Assalamu alaikum.